Hi guys, on today's show, can listening to Birdsong really reduce stress and anxiety? And three actionable insights for you guys to explore. Stay tuned. So can listening to Birdsong really reduce stress and anxiety? Well, the short answer is, in many contexts, yes. And we've got good evidence for how and why. So why would natural sounds affect stress and anxiety? Well, there are many theories, but I'm going to cover two today. So the first theory is the stress recovery theory. So within seconds, pleasant natural cues, so greenery, water or birdsong, can shift your body into a calmer mood, where the fight or flight or freeze response eases off and your heartbeat becomes more flexible, a sign of a healthy, relaxed state. So simply looking or listening to pleasing things in nature can cause a real biochemical reaction in our bodies, which can ultimately affect how we feel. Now, lab studies have shown that after an acute stressor, people recover faster whilst listening to natural sounds rather than traffic or industrial noise, with quicker settling of our autonomic nervous system. So this is the part of our nervous system that's responsible for priming our bodies for stressful events or relaxing us in that rest or digest state. Virtual reality experiments suggest that soundscape matters too. So a forest scene with natural audio can evoke stronger physiological recovery than the same visuals in silence. This dovetails with classic field evidence that mere views of nature, so no activity required, aid recovery from stress implying a low effort sensory route to down-regulating the stress systems in our bodies and reducing the activity in brain regions associated with responding to threats. So the second theory I want to talk about is the attention restoration theory. So natural scenes and soundscapes tend to be softly fascinating. They draw bottom-up interests without hijacking top-down control. So in other words, they capture attention naturally the way a beautiful bird song or a ripple on a pond might, without forcing you to concentrate too hard. This allows your brain's directed attention system to replenish. It basically gives your brain's focus muscles a break. So instead of constantly fighting off distractions, they get to rest and recharge, so you can concentrate better afterwards. Spending even a few minutes in nature can help you remember things and focus better. So in the brain, it's linked to patterns that show you're relaxed but alert, and to less activity in areas tied to getting stuck in negative thoughts, meaning you're less likely to dwell on worries. Put simply, Gentle, melodic cues like birdsong can hold attention without taxing it, which can return scarce executive resources that anxiety monopolises. Real-world smartphone sampling across more than a thousand people found that seeing or hearing birds predicted a better mood for hours afterwards, including in participants with depression. This is good support that everyday bird soundscapes are restorative. In a classic experiment, participants were stressed with a challenging task and then exposed to either traffic noise or to natural sounds that included bird vocalisations. The natural sound condition produced faster physiological recovery. Think lower fight, flight or freeze arousal and better emotional state compared to the noise condition. There are also immersive studies using virtual or simulated environments. So when people relaxed after stress, while hearing natural sounds in a virtual forest, their bodies showed signs of calming down. So their heart rhythms became healthier and their stress hormone levels moved towards normal. A large review found that natural sounds, particularly birds and water, are associated with improved health outcomes and reduced stress and annoyance. And another study showed that bird-rich soundscapes are perceived to be more restorative than urban noise with mood benefits that map on to reduced anxiety states. So across lab, immersive and real-world settings, birdsong has been shown to support stress recovery and lower anxiety. So how does this all work? How does the sounds of birds singing affect your anxiety and stress? So what are the mechanisms? Well, one of the key mechanisms I've already mentioned, it's the autonomic nervous system. So comforting, steady sounds like gentle bird song or flowing water can help switch off the body's fight, flight or freeze response. This is known as the sympathetic nervous system response and activate its calming system. So this is known as the parasympathetic state. In some studies, you can actually see this in a healthier, more flexible heartbeat pattern. And this is known as the heart rate variability. Mechanism two is cognitive load. So birdsong can sit in the sweet spot of soft fascination. It engages, but doesn't demand. And this can help dial down rumination, a core driver of anxious states, and free up attention for the present moment. 
So it's not a one size fits all though, it's not a panacea, so it won't necessarily work for everybody. The third mechanism is masking and safety signalling. So birdsong can help mask unpredictable urban noises. And these are noises that the brain may treat as potential threats. So at the same time, our brains may appraise birdsong as a safety cue. In evolutionary terms, birds tend to sing when the environment is calm and free from immediate danger. And safety cues can dial down activity in what's called the amygdala in the brain. This is the brain's emotional alarm system that detects threats and triggers the fight, flight or freeze response. And it also tags memories with emotional weight. So by signalling safety, birdsong may reduce anxious arousal and promote a calmer physiological state. Mechanism 4 is the endocrine and immune spillover. Lower perceived stress is associated with healthier cortisol rhythms, so this is the stress hormone in your body, and also lower inflammatory signalling. You can think of birdsong as a low-dose environmental intervention that may nudge these systems in a favourable direction, especially when repeated. Birdsong, what it's good for and its limitations. It's really important to say that this isn't a cure-all, so for many the effects may be low or moderate and not magical, and they depend on context. So if the bird song is too loud or squawky, or is drowned out by traffic, then the benefits are likely to shrink. And for a minority of people with sound sensitivities, certain calls may be irritating rather than soothing, but we need to do more research to understand this. But listening to birdsong is generally a low-risk intervention that complements things like breathing exercises, meaningfully engaging with green spaces, and also therapy. Okay, so here's three actionable insights for you. So actionable insight number one, dose and timing. So try and aim for five or ten minutes of undistracted listening one to three times per day if you can. Morning dawn chorus is especially effective for many people. Try and sit outside and tune into birds singing each day. Or, if you're listening to them digitally, use comfortable headphones and keep the volume at around conversational level, so roughly 50 to 60 decibels. And I know not everybody can do this, but if you can, I encourage you to try and get outside and listen to the birds for a more embodied experience. Actionable insight number two, diversity. So try spending some time walking through a habitat until you find multiple species of birds, so blackbirds, robins, thrushes, wrens, etc. The same goes for digital recordings, so play a species-rich soundscape, and this may be more restorative than monotonous tracks. If you are outdoors, and I hope so, seek spots where you can actually hear birds over traffic. So think about parks with tree cover or water theatres, or if there's a forest nearby, wander into the forest and listen to the birds. Actionable insight number three. Pair birdsong with breathing exercises. So while you listen to the birds, Breathe slowly for about six breaths per minute, in through the nose for four seconds and out for six. And this can boost what's called vagal tone and heart rate variability, which means it can essentially help your body's rest and digest system work better and make your heartbeat naturally speed up and slow down in a healthier, more flexible way. Personally, I find that this combo, so paced breathing plus birdsong, can often feel noticeably more calming than either alone. How to try it this week? Pick a 10 minute slot in your day, say after lunch or before bed, and head over to the nearest green space, or queue up a species rich birdsong track. Phone on airplane mode, slow breathing, eyes soft. Do this for seven days, and hopefully you'll start noticing changes in your anxiety, focus, and maybe even your sleep quality for the better. And if you do, keep doing it day upon day, week upon week. What we still need to learn. So we need larger trials that compare different kinds of bird songs, exposure lengths and headphones versus open air listening, and that measure not just mood, but also physiology. So think about heart rate variability and cortisol and even the microbiome response. But the signal we have so far is encouraging and it's easy to test in your own life. If you found this helpful or interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and feel free to sign up to my free newsletter over at www.jakemrobinson.com. And don't forget, stay wild inside and out.